Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have naked nails, but I have an issue. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look. Um, I had repaired it and I put it on my, um, my you know, community page. Um, I had put builder gel on it and then yesterday at work, I kind of hit it. And then today, um, I was helping my husband. He hurt his foot, so we were going to go take x-rays um, at the clinic. And then, of course, I did something else, and it's completely bent. So I'm going to try and fix it. So I figured I'm going to record it for you guys. So I'm going to use some I'm a Lee. Um, I'm going to use the base coat and the builder gel. You can totally use nail glue um, for this same um, application. You can also use dip powder, um, but I'm going to try the Builder Gel today. So first off, I'm going to put a base coat on. So I have something that the Builder Gel can adhere to. So yeah, if you don't do gel, then you can totally do the same thing, but with nail glue. So I'm just going to kind of make sure that this piece is pushed down. Okay, I'm going to cure this. I'll be right back one sec. Okay. Um, I did forget to mention that before I did this, I cleaned um, my nail with acetone and then I did clean it with alcohol. So I did prep beforehand. So this is just a tea bag. Um, I've had this tea bag for a long time, as you can see. I just kind of keep cutting pieces off. So. I'm just going to cut a couple pieces off between this. Um, so I actually have a crack on this side and this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one thin coat of builder gel. Yeah, I did this nail pretty bad. And it's too... Um, it's too far up for me to cut it off right now. Um, I could probably, I should, I'm going to file after and kind of get it down a little bit. But it is way too um, high up. Because as you can see, look, look, it's like right up into my skin. There's no way I'm going to be able to... Um, cut it back that much so I'm just kind of pushing it down into the wet layer and I think I got most of that now this one I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna cut it in half Making sure I'm in the frame. So I make sure I push it down. And where's that other little piece? Put it. Come on, baby. There we go. It's curling the other way, so I'm going to turn it around. So I'm going to kind of wet it. <laughs> so if it's a little lumpy at the moment, I can um, I can file it down. So there. I don't know if you can see it but just take your time um, 
I'm just gonna see if I just want to make sure it's down. There. Okay, so I'm gonna just want to make sure this big piece is on the crack. And this one's on the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this. I'll be right back one sec. Okay, so that is cured. So now I'm just gonna go in and put another coat on. So if you guys wanna see how I do this with, um, cause I'm gonna have to probably repair this a couple more times. Um, so the next time what I can try and do is do it with nail glue so you can see. But I basically pretty much do it the same way is I just put nail glue down. I put the um, the tea bag down and um, then let it dry. So I'm just kind of going on the side just to make sure that I have some here. I'm just gonna kind of Hold it upside down for a little for a second or two then I'm gonna cure this one sec okay so now I'm just gonna take some alcohol Ooh, it's going and then I'm gonna wipe it off then I'm gonna take my buffer it's pretty smooth but just in case I'm just going to smooth it out. So I just take the buffer corner and I kind of go into my cuticle, kind of smooth it out. So, and it's not very thick, as you can tell. It's pretty smooth. And now what I'll do is I'll do one more coat of the Builder Gel. See, that's looking pretty good. You can see there a little white spot, but overall, it's not bad. You can see I had a tear there and there, so, but it's not catching on the sides. Okay, I should wipe that off again since I just touched it. We'll wait a second. Let the alcohol dry. And then I'm going to put one more thin coat of Builder Gel. So. so I'll just go in. A little puddle, so I'm going to take that off. So then I'm just going to kind of make sure that this side is well protected. And that one. So when it doesn't make it too thick, I just very thin coat. Okay, hold it upside down for a few seconds, just that way it, it'll pull down. 
Okay, and I will cure and be right back. Okay, so now I just get another piece of paper towel and then I clean off my nail. Now, if you don't want it shiny, then you can um, totally just kind of buff off the shine. I'm going to cover it anyway with um, polish. So usually what I'll do is if I have this on, I'll use a peel base and then I will uh, do my nail polish over top or you can just totally just do regular polish over top. I'll do a base coat, my normal um, um, my normal polish. But if I'm going to use a gel or whatever, then I would totally use a peel base. But, um, so there. So there. It looks pretty normal. You can kind of sort of see the spots, but overall, um, it looks like my natural nail. It's a tiny bit thicker than my natural nails, but it's not thick and bulky and I've got some stability. So I will have this on until it reaches past uh, my skin and then I can file my nail down and then start over. But yeah, right now I, there's no way I could cut that back that short. That would, yeah, that would be painful. So, and this is my left hand. Not that it matters because I do my nails on both hands anyway. Um, but yeah, so that is how I fix my nail uh, using Builder um, Gel. Um, and yeah, if you guys are curious on other um, repairs like nail glue or dip powder, you can do as well. Uh, let me know and the next time I redo my nail, I'll switch. So let me know down below what you want to see. Okay, so thanks for hanging out with me while I repair my nail. I hope this was helpful. If you've got questions, let me know down below and let me know if you want to see something. Okay, um, love you guys. And oh, I will have pictures and puppies, of course, because we always have to have the puppies. Okay, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Are you wanting someone to fight with you? Pedro! Pedro, Pedro! Go get her! Go get her! It's just fucking migrates through my body. And they were just stay in one spot. Shush! <laughs> Stop patting my bum. <laughs> doesn't like it. She says, stop it, daddy. So did you find out what the, what the girl's daughter's name is? No. I think they're expecting you to give them something. You're in that cupboard. <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
I can't get, I can't do it one handed. gonna fall over. <laughs> Bada bone? 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 <laughs> and they're going to their spots. It's not that windy either. No. This comes in dust. Pop it out of the